Welcome to Namastar course. In this video, I'll introduce the quickly adjust bright or dark lines function. Compared to the LCD screen, a big advantage of the LED screen is that it can cascade any number of cabinets or modules, allowing the customer to freely define the resolution of the screen without being restricted by standard resolution. The problem of bright or dark lines usually happens in rental LED display or cascaded modules. The goal of this function is that customers can adjust the brightness of the LEDs at the borders of the cabinets or modules to remove dark or bright lines, and ultimately increase the uniformity of whole screen brightness. Before the operations, please make sure. 1. LED screen has already been configured and are working normally. 2. The controlling computer sends a video source signal to the sending card without scaling, which means that the sending card resolution should be the same as graphics card resolution. Both duplicate mode and extension mode can be used. But scaling in graphics card settings needs to be 100%. 3. On the NOAA LCD calibration page, please make sure that the brightness or chroma calibration is enabled, otherwise the adjustment effect won't show up. The operations are as follows. Open NOAA LCD software. Choose Advanced Synchronous System User Login. The password is admin. Click Tools. Choose Quickly Adjust Bright or Dark Lines function. The software provides two versions for the customer to choose according to the receiving card model they use. The common version is available for all receiving card models, while the new version is for specific types of receiving cards and firmware. First, we are going to introduce the common version. If duplicate mode is enabled, the LED screen should be fully white, matching the white area at the top left of the desktop with the same resolution as the LED screen. If extension mode is enabled, then you need to set the display image to the extended screen. This demo uses extension mode, so we are going to choose the extended screen. Then enable the display serial number according to the numbers. Click on the corresponding position and the topology to choose borders that need to be adjusted. Then drag the bar below to set the brightness higher or lower. Watch the changes on the screen. And set the brightness until you are satisfied with the result. Click on yellow borders again to cancel selection. Double-click the borders to enable pixel level adjustment, where you can choose a single pixel to adjust. Choose multiple borders to adjust them at the same time. Enable module level adjustment. Enter module resolution and click draw. Then the full screen will show every module as a unit for you to adjust the borders between modules. After the adjustment is complete, click Save to Hardware. Some other functions are as follows. Lock selection will lock the current area you choose. Hide Topology graph will hide the topology of the software interface. Enable right green blue priority to adjust bright or dark lines with right green or blue color. These small icons means deselect all borders, 
zoom in and zoom out. The new version of adjusting lines adds many keyboard shortcuts. Common functions can be done by using a keyboard. Under each icon, you can see corresponding keyboard shortcut. Click the icon at the bottom left to get more shortcut information. The specific operations are as follows. After running the new version of a quickly adjust bright or dark lines, the white area will show up on both the computer and the LED screen with the same resolution. If exterior mode is enabled, then you need to set the display image to the extended screen. This demo uses duplicate mode, so we choose the main display. Choose to enter module mode or cabinet mode. If you choose module mode, you need to set how many rows and columns of LED in one cabinet. You don't need to set this in cabinet mode. Click the calibration effect. If it is gray, it means that the calibration is turned on and no operation is needed. If it is optional, you need to select chroma calibration or brightness calibration. Otherwise, you can't see the effect of adjusting the bright and dark lines. Click the serial number or use shortcut X to show numbers on the screen. Click show dashed box or use shortcut bottom Z to make selected borders flash. According to the serial number, choose borders that need to be adjusted. Click to choose row and column mode. Row mode only or column mode only. Or press ASD for quick setting. Use arrow keys to select borders that need to be adjusted. Press Ctrl and Enter together to select multiple areas at the same time. Press 1 plus up or 1 plus down together to set brightness higher or lower. After the adjustment, press F2 to clear selection. Then choose other areas to continue your adjustment. After you are satisfied with the result, click Save to Hardware. There are some other functions including clear effect that will delete the adjustment parameters of a selected area. Clear all effects that will delete the adjustment parameters of the whole screen. Adjust full screen brightness. Hide or show display window. Change brightness adjustment precision. And change the screen color to white, green, blue, or white for separate adjustment. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for your watching.